and welcome back. This is part two of the rotary laser engraver build. In part one, um, which you may want to go and have a look at first, we sort of discussed the concept of it, uh, the actual design, and then the uh, materials what we were going to use to build it. But in this part, we're going to have a look at the assembly of it, and then we'll get it over to the laser machine, we'll get it installed, and then we'll start to do some engraving. So these are all the parts here. Um, I've pre-assembled a couple of bits, but anyway, we'll start and um, put this together. So I think the first thing we'll do is we'll have a look at these wheels, which are going to be the drive wheels um, driven by the stepper motor. Uh, we've got a sandwich set up here, and we're going to put some rubber around here. To Obviously, we're going to need something to grip onto anything what we're engraving. So I've modelled this in CAD, and... For the big wheels, we want a length of 191 millimetres, and then we'll glue those ends together, and they'll create our sort of O-ring, if you like. So we'll just cut that end square. That's better. And we'll measure out 191. One and then what that will give us that will give us enough to go around and then a little bit of stretch just to you know just to um, keep that stretched into the grooves. So I'll just grab the super glue and then we'll glue that one together. Right, next is to put these on. So we'll just stretch that over, and as you can see there, that will just pop into that groove, like so. And then the next one. So they're on there. And then this wheel we've got to build up. So here's our tube, um, we've got this threaded both ends and we're going to trap these wheels on and then when, once we screw it off to the bearing that will then trap this whole lot together so there's no movement in between all these parts. So if we start off and these are a tight fit on here so we'll just push them down. And then we have the sandwich, so next we have the smaller one, which is the black one. And as you can see there, that's where the rubber o-ring sits, or our rubber o-ring, what we've made. And then we have a white one. Black. White again. Um, yeah. Oh, I've got one spare. How come I've got one spare? I know why. This one here, the hole in the centre wasn't quite right, and that's right, yeah, this one is all cracked out in the middle here, so we'll bin that one, and this was our recut. So, and there we have that. So next is the drive gear. And then obviously this is the space for the bearing. So we'll just screw this end off.
Right, so to wire the rotary engraver in, uh, what we've got here, we've got the actual controller which controls the steppers, uh, the signals what go out to the stepper drivers. And then we've got three drivers here. We've got X, Y and Z, similar to a um, CNC machine. Um, X is obviously your longitudinal travel and then Y back to front and then uh, X is up and down. Because when I built the laser itself, I did put a um, table uh, movable table so the table will go up and down simply so I can um, you know obviously put the rotary engraver in there and also thick materials if I'm you know like engraving onto the top of a piece of wood anyway if we go back to the stepper drivers so here these drivers actually um, send the signal through to the stepper motors so I've disconnected the y-axis on the laser itself and I've plugged in our rotary um, engraver and that's how it's going to be driven so if we go back to here, I'll just put the camera on the tripod and then we'll, um, we'll start some engraving. Alright, so I've just got a beer bottle in here at the moment and the first job is to uh, get the surface of the bottle here level with the head of the laser. Um, because when we focus the laser in, we don't want to, you know, if we've got the bottle at an angle, the laser's going to go out of focus as it goes further down. So we'll just get the height right first. And then we need to focus the laser itself. So let me get this around the right way. So what I've got here, I've got a scale. Um, this central part here, this is when the laser, so you've got the laser sitting here or the tip of the laser, and then this is your work surface. And when we use the middle part here, that's where the laser is focused at its absolute. And then obviously we can go out of focus when we're engraving. But I've found that engraving onto bottles is best for my machine just to have this set, you know, at the um, top focus point. So we'll just bring that down into focus. And we can move this head up and down, you see. The lens is actually here, not up here somewhere. So it doesn't matter where we move this to, if I just move this air pipe out of the way. We can move it right up and down, you know, the lens is always here, so we can get our focal point from the lens, which is the tip to the lens, exact for our workpiece, what we're going to be engraving onto. So that's done. And what we'll do, we'll just move this across and get this engraving near the top of the bottle. Right, we can come up to about here. On this part of the bottle, it bulges out here, and then it obviously starts the curve. So we'll just come below where that bulge is, where it's still flat. Anyway, we'll switch the machine on and then we'll get that ready. So the laser is all set to go now. The noise in the background is that we've got a small compressor running to blow air through the nozzle. And what that does at, on, on this particular um, setting for this engraving is what, that will stop any of the smoke going up into the cone and then contaminating the lens. And also we've got an extractor underneath to suck away the fumes and obviously any gases and whatever. So anyway, we've got this set up. We're all set with our height and we're ready to engrave. So I'll just press the glow, go button and then we'll be away. And there's our engraving. So how the laser actually does the engraving is um, obviously this is glass and it actually fractures the surface of the glass so these are all minute fractures so what we need to do now this is quite rough um, although the engraving isn't very deep there is some roughness to this and what it is they are the shards of glass so what we need to just do is to hit that with a wire wheel or a wire brush 
just to take those shards off. So I'll just do that quickly and then I'll show you the finished result. And here's our finished result. So a little bit more clean up, you can see there's a bit of um, some a couple of shards here still, so but they'll come out with a you know a bit more cleaning with the wire brush. So anyway, so yeah, so let's work on a treat. And I'll just show you what we'll do now is we'll put I haven't got no drinks containers because obviously we're in lockdown at the moment because of the virus. But um, I have got a deodorant tin which has got the same sort of finish on as a drinks uh, container or a drinks bottle and we'll have a go at engraving that. I've just um, adjusted this stop just to stop the bottle from drifting uh, the bottle the drinks uh, I've just adjusted this stop I've just adjusted this stop and that will just drop uh, stop this can I'll just bring the stop in and because this is a light object a light object what we're now going to engrave um, that will stop it from drifting to one side and we just need to get our height right and again we need to focus the lens onto the top of the object Right, we'll re reprogram the lettering to run across this way this time. And then we can start to in uh, engrave onto here. come out really well and here's some clear glass I'll just try and get the light right so I'll just put my logo on there and that come out nice and the same again as what I've done on the other bottle and the uh, deodorant tin so yeah so all good all set to go now so start engraving some round objects thanks for watching